to position the machine. First ensure all of the adapters and stabilizers are removed. Move the first dynamometer stop to position F on the green scale. Now move the second stop to position U on the green scale. Collect the adapters and stabilizers for this test. We will need the wrist shoulder adapter, the forearm stabilizer V pad, the thigh forearm stabilizer tube, and the lumbar cushion may be required for comfort. Now adjust the chair rotation. Lift a locking handle and rotate the chair. Rotate the chair to 80 degrees on the green scale. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. The chair foreaft is altered by raising either locking handle, then slide the chair bottom forwards or backwards. Adjust the foreaft to position 7. Lower the locking handle to secure. Set the seat to the down position by lifting the seat and releasing the lock. Set the chair back translation by winding the handle. Adjust the chair back translation to position 15. To set the chair back angle lift a locking handle and adjust the chair back. Adjust the back angle to 90 degrees. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Now set the dynamometer tilt. Release the locking handle then change. Adjust the tilt angle to 0 degrees. Lock by tightening the handle. The dynamometer height and rotation are adjusted together. Lift a locking handle to release. Rotate the dynamometer to 10 degrees on the black scale, whilst also adjusting the height to position 28 and a half. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Finally position the monorail by pressing the kickboard and sliding the chair to position 59. Now attach the thigh forearm stabilizer tube into tube number 2 on the chair. Ensure the tube faces towards the side to be tested. Pull the locking pin and slide into place, then secure with a screw. Top tip. Leave the stabilizer high enough to slide the leg underneath. Attach the forearm stabilizer V-pad to the stabilizer tube. Ensure the wide part of the pad is towards the chair. Then slide onto the stabilizer tube. Secure with a screw. Install the wrist shoulder adapter into the short end of the input arm. Ensure the handle faces away from the dynamometer face. Pull the locking pin to allow full installation. Secure with the locking screw. Rotate the handle to position 112 by loosening the screw and rotating. Once the norm is positioned, ask the subject to sit on the chair and rest their forearm on the stabilizer. The chair back translation may be adjusted at this stage to support the trunk. Use of the lumbar cushion may be necessary for comfort. Then adjust the height of the stabilizer to try to attain the correct elbow angle. Top tip, 90 degrees is the desired angle for the elbow. The chair fore aft and or monorail may need adjustments to achieve this position. Now adjust the dynamometer height so the black dot on the input arm is opposite the middle of the hand. Attach the forearm strap. Now adjust the length of the wrist shoulder adapter to ensure the center of the forearm is aligned with the black dot on the input adapter. The axis of rotation is through the center of the forearm at the fourth finger level. Adjust the lateral position of the forearm stabilizer to ensure there is no torsion in the forearm. The test is ready to begin.